the people I paint has a story. And it's usually a dark one. I think this is one of the reasons why I create about the dark side of humanity. I see their darkness in many colors. Yeah, and, and maybe create about, um, about the crazy stuff in the city, and not always about the good stuff, you know. Uh, what do you mean saying crazy things? I uh, like trash. You like, yeah. <laughs> Why do you like trash? I like trash. <laughs> so I like the dark side of people. Mm -hmm. I like the, the, the part of the glass that is empty and not full. Yeah. And that's what I usually looking for in people. People, craziest uh -huh. stories. LA is a fucked up city. What inspired me to create this exhibit is the contrast in our society. It's a vision basically that, that, that is talking about the shitty side of humans. And the, and the gap that we have uh, in our society. It's a thought-provoking show because I'm showing a different reality that you usually don't see in the media. I brought the street to the galleries of world. America, but this is not only in, in, yes. in America. This is all around the world, especially in the past two years. This is my madness. You know, darkness to art is obviously something I, I'm in love with. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you for you <laughs> that you have time for me today and join me today. Yeah, I'm on vacation, so uh, yeah, why not? You know, I can take some, uh, yeah. some time off vacation and talk to people communicating, so it's yeah. all good, my pleasure. I would like to ask you, how, how did you come up to the idea <laughs> to become an artist? When I was in school, I was always... Um, drawing people mm -hmm. you know, i was always trying to get away of listening in class when i was like 14 15 years old i was drawing a lot on notebooks and and copy like have like drawing people faces and all day all day non-stop all day drawing people faces and and i think this is how i started and then i did some graffiti you know i used to do graffiti mm -hmm. and when i was 22 i was uh, right after my uh, military time i um i was traveling in south america i was painting a little bit in south america and then when i moved to los angeles when i was 23 um i i, I started to to make it as a career like i started to paint people mm -hmm. and look for selling the paintings to friends and from friends and become friends of friends and from friends of friends of friends become friends of friends of friends uh -huh. <laughs> and um this is this is how i um just started you know i i i, I was always drawing people mm -hmm. painting people it, it was never a plan it was never my plan to make a career in in the united state of 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 a painter it just this is just happened uh, because I I just follow and and did what I like. Like obviously I had <clears throat> so many other jobs, and, and and I didn't do so many other things, but um, painting was always uh, the main thing, and was always the uh, what drove me to to send it happen. Why people? Why why not things? Why not nature? Why people? So I like painting people. Mm -hmm. I like painting objects. Um, I don't like painting nature. Like I'm not into painting nature. Um, but I, I, I do paint objects. Other objects, just very static, static mm -hmm. objects. Um, uh, people, I think, I think um, there is some energy um, with people, and I and I paint people that I had some moment with them that I feel something about their mm -hmm. visual, um, their visual face, or or their energy, or their um, or anything it got to do with them. So. Um, Usually when I have stories and moments with with people, this is 
what inspiring me to to pain people so what's special about darkness with people is is that's the part people don't like to show um i'll give you an example you know when when, when you shoot a model um you put makeup and you hide all the wrinkles and stuff like that so in my art i don't i don't do stuff like that i don't hide any wrinkle um that's why um i, I usually go with with like take photos and paint older people um, because I can I can really feel um, the darkness uh, while I'm painting um, um, their face. Um, I think it's because what I go through and what I what I my experiences with with and places and people um, I, I I just like to paint and and I, I feel it more like when I paint people I really I, I can really feel it and and I and I don't know I enjoy paint people you know we're all trying to feel good with ourselves by comparing our madness to others the people I paint has a story and it's usually a dark one I see their darkness in many colors. This is my madness. I, I tried everything. I, I, I did everything in my life, like every, every, I tried. Try to paint deserts, cityscape, landscapes, uh, everything. It's just um, abstract, um, um, realism story. I think um, uh, people really works for me, and, and this is a, I, I, you know what I think it's a comfort zone. I think it's a comfort zone. I think, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. um, but I, I like objects as well. Uh -huh. I can understand you because I, I don't like much to paint nature, as you said, like I like to paint people as well. And, you know, when you paint a person, you like um, take some energy from that person and you can put some energy in that person, you know, so it's like a connection with that person <laughs> without person, you know, so it's somehow about expressions yeah, and about feelings uh, and yeah I, I understand you and you know now you say about um, uh, portraits and about uh, people painting and you know I was in shock <laughs> when I saw your project when you made uh, a challenge on Instagram Hi, I'm Tomo and you're watching 15 minutes and there you go we're about to have a portrait in a 15 foot canvas uh in 15 minutes uh, what in is 15 minutes yeah yeah why 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 that challenge before that i was painting every every portrait was hyper realism took me over 40 hours mm -hmm. so i kind of got bored of it you know and, and then covid started and i wanted to do something new and i wanted to challenge myself so i brought up um uh with me online uh, friends, people I know, mm -hmm. and and I try to paint them in 15 minutes on a huge canvas. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, it, it, it was it was a fun project. It was really fun fun. So three, two, one, let's go. Just for one thing, but the love and admiration that some of them came out good, some of them came out really bad. By the way, <laughs> you know, it's like, not really like you know. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I, one of one of one of my friends, she was um, with me online, and I was painting her, and the painting came out so bad, and it, I even saw it on her face that listen, Tomer, this is shit. This, <laughs> this is not you. This is not me. Okay. So I did, so I put her. I did another one of her. You know. Mm -hmm. So not everything is succeeding, you know, even, even, you know, I tried that. It was a challenge, but, um, but now, now I'm back to painting, uh, 40, 40, 50 hours, every painting. So now I'm back to slow, slow painting. So, and I think, uh, it works better for me than a 15 minute. <laughs> yeah. So where, where are those paintings now? Um, um, the paintings now are 
in my studio mm -hmm. and what I do now, I paint over them also. So oh. I keep painting them and I and I write quotes on them and I and I you know keep practicing on them. Um, actually, a few of them was, were sold um, not long ago. So whatever was sold, just um, not at the studio anymore. Mm -hmm. And whatever is still with me, I'm, I'm keep painting over them, writing quotes. If you see my uh, Instagram, I have the latest uh, few quotes on. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, momentum quote that I didn't even think about. I said, okay, I'm going to spray everything in my mind right now. I'm going to spray on the canvas, which this is another challenge. I just did it, didn't do it live. Um, so I just took an airbrush and whatever was in my mind, I just spray over the painting um, and it looks ho horrible, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, saw, I saw when you painted a portrait on a very nice texture, you know, on a wall with texture. This is this was so cool, you know, like your your father portrait or, or, or... yes, yeah, yeah, my father. Yeah. Very good, you 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 know my work. Uh, yeah, that was my. You know what? This texture came up uh, by mistake. Um, what I did, I was I was trying to glue the canvas on top of the wood, like wood mm -hmm. surface, and it, it, I didn't glue it right. And it was a very quick glue, so I had to take it out. So after a few hours, I realized that it was so bad. I took it out and it, um, like all the glue kind of came out. It was so bad. Uh -huh. So for like two years, this piece was sitting in my studio and I didn't do anything with that. And after two years, I'm like, you know what? This is actually very cool. Let me just paint in between. Yeah. So I paint the, 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 the portrait. I paint in between the damages. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is, uh, you know what I, and, and by the way, I tried to do that thing again and that I tried this mistake again to create more of this, uh, um, structure and, and I couldn't, so it was a one time, one time mistake. I wish I could do it again. Yes, but you know, this is so nice idea, like you painted your father and on this texture and this texture uh, was like very fragile and it's like that person, <laughs> like, you know, like it's a conceptual like idea that that person is our, um, our parents, not, you know, like the texture is fragile, fragile, yeah? to say right yeah and the person is fragile as well like you know this is something you know you know when, when you're saying that it's very interesting because um when i painted my father on this i didn't think i didn't think about the connection to the to the uh, to the wood piece or to the mistake that happened mm -hmm. but it it wasn't a time when i i, I started to really accept my father you know you know for many people me or many people i know we always had some kind of regrets or um or or questions to our parents why he didn't do with us this why did he push us here yeah and i think when i painted my father it was the time when i stopped to ask questions and i accept start to accept all of my childhood. I had a great childhood, by the way. So, so, but that was the, the time when I, when I, when I said to myself, you know what, whatever my father did, he did the best he could and everything is great. And I don't, I don't care about anything and I don't have any question. I don't about the past mm -hmm. or, or questioning him about how he, um, um, as, as how he was as, as a father to me. So it was in, 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 in the same time, and that maybe really fits the actual um, uh, texture around the painting, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I didn't mean to, to to do that like like that. I I didn't really think too much. Yes, yes, but but you know, you didn't think. I, but... I, that, that's that's what came. That's what came. You know, um, I don't I don't I don't really think too deep about every painting I do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and maybe most of the time. Um, I have a mojo, like I have that momentum right now. 
Yes. <clears throat> and right now, that's how I feel. And right now, this is what I will paint. And I have a lot of paintings that, you know, like from 10 years ago and 12 years ago, that I look at them like, I'm not in the same moment right now. This is not me right now. Yeah. So, uh, all like most of my paintings are belonging to the moment that I painted them, you know, without too many thoughts and plans uh -huh. and, and, and f philosophical explanations, you know. Yeah. You just put the feelings on this canvas and just for, forget about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 And, and I wanted to say that I'm not trying to make a philosoph philosophical explanation about every painting I do. You know, it, it, this is just a moment that I had. And, and sometimes it's a great moment. Sometimes it's a shitty moment, you yeah. know? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I try to say. <laughs> yeah, I understand. And you know, I like your painting, your portraits, uh, where, where they like not finish it. Like you make very detailed uh, parts and like very messy, like uh, like um, uh, drawing, you know, <laughs> like sketching. Yeah. So this is like you don't care about you know that part, and you 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 care about some part of them. This is very cool, I think, as well. You know. And more interesting, I think it, even maybe if you if you would to paint it very you know very perfect and it was... you know it comes from two reasons. It's um, um, I think you can recognize a person or feel something to a person or love a person mm -hmm. even when when he's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and this is the idea of those paintings. And the other thing is, yeah, we're, 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 we're not, we are incomplete. You know, humans are not perfect. Yeah. We made not to be perfect. So that's the whole idea of those paintings, that the mm -hmm. painting is also not perfect. And partial of the painting is painted and partial of the painting is trash. Yeah. Like humans. Yeah, right. <laughs> I saw your, some of your works with trash, uh, you know, you paint the trash, like, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I like trash. You like, yeah. <laughs> Why do you like trash? I like trash. <laughs> uh, trash is the is the half of the empty glass we have. You know, trash is just a metaphor. You know, yes. trash is the I think is the dark side about us. You know, yeah. trash <laughs> is the you know you can recognize a person by his trash you know you can yes. you can understand a person if you look on his in his trash so i like the dark side of people mm -hmm. i like the 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 part of the glass that is empty and not full yeah. and that's what i usually looking for in people The, what is the bad things about that? What is the dark side? Because this is this is the hidden things about about humans. You know, people are not showing that. Yes. People are showing only their beauty side. Yeah. People always want to be a perfect. Like uh, when we talk about p trash and people, so I so like your. I love your uh, your exhibition. Welcome to America. What inspired me to create this exhibit? is the contrast in our society. It's a thought-provoking show because I'm showing a different reality that you usually don't see in the media. I brought the street to the galleries out world. 12,000 square feet of art installations. This is my biggest event I've ever done. I, I was crying when I was watching your- and behind like, everything and your, I believe that it's in purpose. Your video and that song, you know. That exhibition brought up a lot of emotions, uh, sadness, uncomfortable people. Some people were happy, some people were upset. A lot of people cry. That was the idea to, to create that big mix of emotions and, and let people feel. Um, so Welcome to America is an exhibition basically that, that, that is talking about the shitty side of humans, the, 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 the distance and the, and the gap that we have um, in our society, you know, mm -hmm. um, different opinions that that creates 
uh, such a such a big mess in our world, basically. Mm-hmm. And this is a welcome to America. You know, I call it welcome to America, but this is not only in, in, yes. in America. This is all around the world, especially in the past two years. Mm-hmm. So I, I create about the gap in in in, in our uh, economical system and how we have so so many rich like so little rich people and so many poor people how the middle class is is you know disappearing um it's about um uh, humans that feels like they're a hostage of the system so mm-hmm. it's it's about those kind of things so and, and i involved a lot of um performance art paintings uh uh videos and um um yeah art uh, art installations and conceptual art uh it was it was a big show and i was planning on continuing the show on february but now i'm in costa rica and i'm thinking about different things so um <laughs> so yeah yeah but welcome to america I will come back i will keep creating about that it's um, i i i mainly create about the dark side of humanity even though sometimes the painting it look good but the stories and the meaning comes from 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 um, um, the, the sad reality of humanity. Yeah. Did you bring those people from streets, or it was it were actors, like uh, homeless people and? No, no, it was all actors. Okay. All actors. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was all <laughs> actors. It was uh-huh. a lot of work. Act great actors actually yeah 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 but you know it would be very cool if uh, you will take uh, real people <laughs> it would be like wow something well maybe next time you can do that <laughs> i think it is possible i was afraid of the interaction between the crowd and real homeless people mm-hmm. i didn't want to get like maybe violence over there or something like yeah, that so yeah. i brought actors but you know what at the beginning i thought about that to bring uh-huh. like real homeless people uh-huh Yeah, it would be very challenging, you know, for and for audience and for those people, you know, like to be a part of art, you know, like homeless people, a part of art, you know, very nice idea. And, you know, when I saw your uh, pictures on Instagram, when you create like on your exhibition where, a pres- where presidents and other persons, The first thought was, "What? <laughs> This is true or not? <laughs> it's true, but <laughs> you know, like." Uh, but after and this, I understood that it, this is the co- concept of your idea, and this Photoshop was very, you know, very cool idea. So yeah, thank you for sharing. Of course. Yeah, and you know, I, I would like to ask you, like you said, like you were on uh, on military ship right uh-huh. not, not a ship uh i was in the army for mm-hmm. uh four and a half years mm-hmm. and uh, but have you have you had experience uh which affects your art now or, or something like this yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah definitely i um I'm, i have a post uh trauma disorder um and uh, I, i i do create a lot about that I think this is one of the reasons why I create about the dark side of humanity. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is part of one of the reasons because I'm a very happy person. I had a great childhood. I have a great family. I have a great friends. I have a great life. I have no reason. <laughs> like if you if you look, yeah, I have no reason to to you know to uh, create about darkness. But um, one of uh, the things that um, really uh, um, created a, a big a big uh, a trauma and a big uh, effect on my life is my uh, when, when I was serving uh, uh, at the army which is also brought a lot of the good things to my life but mm-hmm. um, so I, I, I had a big show about that as well um, I do some small projects about that um, I think about it a lot I uh, dream about it a lot and Yeah, it, 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 it's something that I carry on me uh, always, every day. And I believe it is a fact on my art, on the back door. I don't really see that this effect and I don't really create directly about that. But um, 
it's there. It's there a lot. If you bring some kind of a psychiatrist, maybe, or someone who can dig a little bit more about me, maybe he's going to find something. I, I don't really test mm -hmm. those things a lot, but I believe it is a fact somehow. Okay. Could you say that um, that experience, uh, what you had now is your dark side or no? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I think in the military, I realized that how mean people can be, um, the differences between humans. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of differences between humans, I believe. You know, we are all the same, but we're, we're very different as well. Um, and, I, and, and the army led me to take life in a different way. Um, I was very naive before. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. It's it, it's very it, it's very hard to tell. You know, it, it, through the years, I I developed um, different um, thoughts and different opinions about armies and militaries around the world, mm -hmm. and about war, and about so why do we need it and all stuff like that. You know, um, I do believe that. Things are not happening because they're happening. I, I, I do believe that things are planned by other people mm -hmm. that don't care about other people or care about only themselves. I think there is uh, big agendas behind everything. And um, this is one of, one, of, one of the part of the dark side about humans that, I, that I, I'm talking a lot about that. Everything is planned, I believe, and nothing is really happening by mistakes. So, and everything by plans by plans by by mm -hmm. humans, by by yeah. by people, by very powerful people that want us to be separated. Do you have your painting or your artwork uh, where we can see not other people you created, but you, like your insight or your 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 expression like and like only you something from you you know if you if you understand what i mean um no not really not really <laughs> <laughs> okay I, explain so i i mean like you paint other other people you know and like we can say we can see your uh, your creation like other people but do you have your work uh we show you your insight maybe or your your like soul if i can say that like or you, you or you put yourself in all your works um i i i have some self portrait that i've made uh -huh. um I, I I I think a lot of my art is a lot about myself, but I don't really show myself uh -huh. in my art. Um, um, I, I I did, yeah, a portrait of myself when I was old. So it's a it's a portrait <laughs> of me old, not uh -huh. not young, uh -huh. like the opposite. So uh -huh. um, yeah, there there is some, and it, it is about me. Um, but I didn't do too many of them. I, I, I don't really paint myself a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I do, but I don't show it. I don't, I don't, I, I, I think when I, when I draw myself or paint myself, I, 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 I don't just like the outcome of it. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm that interested. You know, I, I, I think, I think there's so many other people out there that are very interesting and and i paint my moment with them so in every painting there is me somewhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes um sometimes i paint people that i want to be like that you know that i that i see them like i want to i want to be that uh -huh. guy for like a week or uh -huh. for a month or even a year you know yeah. um yeah so you take something from these people yeah and you know yeah you put... I, I i i that's most of my work uh-huh yeah you know you are not first um person which tell me like and i know myself like 
it's somehow hard to paint a self portrait or like to, to draw myself and um i don't know why but how do you think why it's so so hard to paint yourself and you know maybe to observe yourself i don't think it's that hard Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that hard. I think it's easy, actually. Technically, it's easy because you know yourself very yeah, well. Yes, you know but... all of your, you know, yes, pay, face and every line. You know where is it, where is it, and everything. So uh, it, it's not about tech, the technical thing. It's about yes. Why, I I, why do I want a painting of myself now in my studio? I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't, don't want to see myself. <laughs> On the wall, <laughs> you know, it just uh, it comes from that that part of the decision. You know, I I don't I don't like of seeing because there is already a portrait of myself. So if I do more, it's like too much me. It's yeah. too, too much me. I, I don't think I'm that interesting to do it. <laughs> But I can do it. I think if if I would really focus, I can do it very good. Mm -hmm. It just it just I don't I don't feel like. Okay. Yeah. So now you are based in LA. Yeah, I live in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how, how how does the city affect your works a lot? Yeah, I think Los Angeles is the craziest place in the world with the craziest people, craziest uh -huh. stories. LA is a fucked up city. It's a crazy <laughs> ass town. Uh -huh. You have no idea how crazy it is, and people are crazy in the head. So it's fun yeah it's fun so please give us a, a, an advice how to create art in in los angeles oh just go out there experience some people experience new things that you've never experienced before do some stuff that you never thought you're gonna do meet uh -huh. some new people you never thought you're gonna meet in big cities it's easy because uh a lot of uh Uh, crazy people in the big cities yeah and crazy doesn't have to be bad it can be very good also yeah. uh open yourself and 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 i think just to be open for things to happen you know um i will set it also to myself I'm in, I'm, i'm in a comfort zone i was in a comfort zone for many years and i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone right now uh -huh. so um yeah yeah and and maybe create about um about the crazy stuff in the city and not always about the good stuff you know uh what do you mean saying crazy things i think maybe i may i mean to get out of our comfort zone and, yeah. and do something that we 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 usually don't do you know don't oh. create about uh -huh. um for in the beginning i was i was i was painting only only you know in my first five years in the sense i was only painting women's only uh -huh. only <laughs> only like every every painting it was about female and female and female mm -hmm. and i'm so happy i got out of it and now i create only about males like you will you will go my instagram and see only only guys so it's it's fun you know art is evolving and and it's good to to yeah. change a little bit yeah you know this is super not a super cool advice to create uh, to do things uh uh what you have never done before and to go out through your comfort zone and it's a perfect recipe you know to to create and to to become yeah. something more than you are now and okay, so the last question is i always ask this question uh okay not not last but first last question okay <laughs> I understand that people inspire you, yes. So, if I would ask what, wh uh, who, or what inspires you, you would say that people, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. So, so now the last question: um, Could you tell me what is your core value, like an artist?
Um, I think it's something that um, I'm also working on. And this is my um, my goal, my life goal is, is to be true and honest with myself and um, yeah, to be real, super mm -hmm. real with yourself and honest and um, know yourself mm -hmm. and uh, create from the bottom of your heart instead of from trying to satisfy other people. Mm -hmm. and, um, and 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 just keep doing this till you die.